so here I am down in Devil's Hole State Park, which is in Niagara Falls, New York, and I am practicing for the Appalachian Trail. So practice, if that's what you want to call it, but I'm going to go hiking down in here. I'm going to take you along with me to see what this is like. All right, so I missed the entrance, which is a couple dozen stairs. So this staircase goes all the way down to the bottom of the gorge, and it is quite steep. So I'm going to take you along with this. This is really good practice for the ups and downs because once I get down here, I'm going to go across the river. I'll show you the gorge and the river and it's pretty flat. There are a couple of spots, but it's pretty flat. But then you got to come back up these stairs to get to the top. And that's the tough part. You're going to probably hear me huffing and puffing. So <laughs> I'm going to turn it off for now so I can concentrate on these stairs. Uh, it's dry, so that's a good thing. Uh, if it were wet, it would be pretty slippery down here. But, oh, let me stop to show you this. The only animals I really see down in here would be squirrels, chipmunks, and occasional snakes. But I don't think uh, there's really anything else in here. So I'm going to turn it off for now so I can concentrate and I'll show you once I get down to the bottom. All right, I'm almost at the bottom. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like. There's the river, the raging rapids. So let's get down to the bottom and we'll take you along as we walk pretty flat. Okay, we're at the bottom. This is the trail straight ahead. Pretty flat as you can see other than these tree roots. You can't see the river real well. I'll have to come to a more open spot to be able to show you the gorge, or the river I should say, in the rapids. Trying to figure out how to flip this camera around. No. So here is uh, a pretty good shot of the rapids. Um, this is the Niagara Gorge River. And I made a rookie mistake this morning. I wore my walking shoes instead of my hiking shoes. And with these rocks, well, it's not these big rocks that bother me. It's all those little ones that are sticking up in the ground that these shoes were not made for. I'm wearing zero gravity shoes, or zero drop shoes, the brand Zero with an X. And uh, they're great shoes for walking, but definitely do not recommend them for hiking. So I'll catch you back up when I uh, see a site that you might want to see. So here's another view of some pretty strong rapids. And I stopped here to show you this because the trail does have some ups and downs. And it's not really dangerous here except when you get to a couple of spots like this. Where the trail is literally right on the edge. And if it were slippery, it would be easy to take a fall here. So as I'm approaching this huge rock, the story is that this rock originated in Lockport, New York, which is probably oh, at least 20 miles from here. I think there's a sign up ahead that I can uh, take a picture of, but it's amazing how that rock ended up down here through the evolution of time. So this is pretty cool, and I've never noticed it before. And I'm wondering if it's just a change in the water level, well, I never noticed, but this is a cute little waterfalls. And just to show you, you can see the trolley. Let's see if I can zoom in. That's going over to Canada. And um, I believe the American side and the Canadian side have both. But we are headed way down there. So I can show you what they call the Devil's Hole. Okay, so I've come to this sign and I would definitely keep going, except 
I see the person who is doing the rock scaling over there. So I better not do it. Well, I guess my hike is cut short today. Uh, the guy just came and talked to me, said they're here until four o'clock. So, oh well, I guess that's it. Um, I'll come back another day and take you all the way to where I like to go, where there's a flat rock area. And so now I'm gonna head back. That's the back of me, let me turn it around. This is kind of a calm area of the rapids. But here I go, back the way I came. Short hike today, uh, but thanks for joining. And I will video when I get to the stairs because that is gonna be a challenge for me. So this is a really good view of the rapids. Pretty strong right here. For those who don't know the history of Niagara Falls, I'm sure you've heard of people going over the falls in a barrel. But even if you just try to attempt swimming, like down here, I'm going to take you down here, this little area here, people try to get down to the water where it looks pretty calm. And it is right there on the edge. But there have been foolish people who have gone out, they could even go swimming on the edge and get pulled out by the current and taken, taken through the rapids. And they don't make it. So, beautiful view. This is a beautiful, beautiful park. I love it here. Really disappointed that I couldn't go all the way. Alright, so there is a little bit of ups and downs on this trail. So I'm going down right now, and then I'll be going up for a little bit. It's not too bad, though. So I stopped to show you this. We have an attraction here that's called uh, the Jet Boat Rides, or there might be a more official name for it. And the Jet Boat is about to come by any second now. And it is the only kind of boat that can handle these rapids. So here it comes. It's actually slowing down a little bit. Oh yeah, it's just called Whirlpool Jet. So, not going too fast right now, and I can't tell how many people are on it, but they go all the way to the world, and it's quite scary because they get kind of close. And honestly, the scariest part about it was that they go through these rapids and they create these six-foot waves that come dumping down on you. Yeah, so I didn't like the feeling of almost drowning, but obviously we weren't really going to drown, but it was just that feeling. I think I need to go slower when I pan. So I'm about to take you to the stairs where I'm going to climb back up. And I'm gonna pause right now. Okay, so here is the start of the stairs. And it is oh, something like 844 stairs. And I think that's each way rather than all together. Um, so I'm not gonna talk too long because you're gonna start hearing me puffing and puffing. But as you can see, the stairs goes up and up and up. And I know I'm going to have bigger climbs than this on the Appalachian Trail, but <laughs> this is good practice. Pausing to take a little break. You know, when I'm in top shape, I can run up these stairs. Not today. And still going. Almost to the top. Uh, well, maybe not. Finally, the last set of stairs. And then they give you handrails. Isn't that nice of them? 